Well, if you have a teenager, then you know most of them can be found glued to their cell phones most of the time. It's an issue that was talked about tonight at Northport High School with a special screening of a documentary called Screenagers. ABC 7's Rick Adams joins us live from the high school with more on what took place there tonight. Rick. Yeah, Jacqueline, this is a big problem in today's world. It's a problem that did take center stage earlier tonight. It affects teens by their time management skills. Many don't have the time to do homework. Stephanie Hawkins is the student body president of the senior class at Northport High School. She was one of the dozens of people who attended the screening of the documentary Screenagers at the high school, hosted by the Education Foundation of Sarasota County. It's a movie that highlights the excessive use of phones and computers and how it's impacting families. This is a good program and kind of video to watch for those problems and families to touch base on what is going on. The movie did address how much of a problem it is for many of us young and old being addicted to our devices and video games and brought up solutions to the problem. One example is creating a contract that would limit use of devices to certain times of the day. We hail cars, we order online, we make appointments, and we certainly Google for information. So that's not gonna go away. What we hope though is that children will have a better understanding of how to navigate that world and to make good decisions. Tessa Newman is a mother of three children who believes social media can be an effective tool. She attended the screening of the movie with her daughter and her Girl Scout troop. The kids use the basic apps um, with social media to communicate with one another and we as parents also use the um, apps through social media to communicate with the um, troop leaders. So uh, to me it's, it's very important that we use that. In addition to the showing of the movie Screenagers, there was a Q&A afterwards with a panel of experts featuring a high school principal, law enforcement, a psychologist, and a counselor. I'm hoping that it gives parents some tools to work with their students on social media, how to balance the use of technology, um, and how to use it as an educational tool as well. And the Sarasota County School District does allow cell phones in schools, but it does have to be turned off during class. Reporting live from Northport this evening, I'm Rick Adams. Jacqueline, back to you. Rick, thank you.